So the deal is basically I have two or maybe three hours to build a wall. I don't think I've accomplished anything in this bus in two to three hours. I gotta try, right? Now right there is gonna be a composting toilet and this is going to be a wall, which means I need a stud down there. One right here, one right here, and here, and then one along here. And that will give me a nice sturdy wall to hang a piece of half inch plywood and then a sliding door. Right, so I really don't feel like that worked very well. Really too loose. This is two and a half inches because this is a two by three. And my screws are two and a half inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those two by fours that I bought for Hurricane Florence and rip them in half and use those because those will be an inch and a half in every dimension. Okay, so that's way better. That's what I want it to feel like. done. It took me like three hours to do this wall and it really didn't seem that stiff. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna build a wall out of studs, you better not be able to move it. And it's good here, but I mean, I don't know, is it good? Probably. But I just started just making a freaking ladder out of it because I just wanted it to be stiffer. Um, I think next time, all these things are like pocket hole situations. Like why not just put two pocket holes per thing? Bam, bam. Oh, I gotta go. Okay. Hey bus converters and bus conversion fans. Welcome back to another day of framing. It has been too long since I was in the bus because we were at a wedding in Florida. Go Sam and Katie, amazing, beautiful wedding. Oh my gosh, so beautiful and incredible. Oh, this is my buddy. My buddy, the Orb Weaver, let's just call him Orby, is here every single day making huge webs. There's Orby. And every single day I try as hard as I can not to break the one little piece of his web that goes all the way down there, but I always do. Sucks. Well, hi. Hey, guys, little she baby. Didn't stay away, so we're coming to hang out. All right, let's do it. Let's do the bus work. Oh, he's so beautiful. You're beautiful too. Oh gosh. Oh, Val cut her hair. Love it, babe. It's so cute. All right, so I've done some layout here. This is the center of my drain. So the last thing I'm gonna do before I build this wall and commit to this shower pan is I'm gonna drill through there and I'm gonna see what's there. And that way I can see if it's feasible or not to make a drain right there. I have very, very bad news, guys. Check this out. That's not good. I can't drill through that. Is dead center on this metal support. I can cut this out. Haha, <laughs> not gonna do that. I can drill through this. Eh, definitely not gonna do that. My prefab 30 by 30 shower base, which is the only one that I found doesn't work in this location. Can't spend all day worrying about this. I'm gonna make this shower whatever freaking dimensions I please. And either I'm gonna make a custom shower pan or I will get like a stainless steel, like a metal fabricator to make one for me. Sounds expensive. <sighs> Sounds annoying, but it'll give us what we want. So what I really want is a 31 by 31 shower enclosure. So I've got 31. It's gonna add an inch on the other side, frame it out, boom. Move on with life, okay. So there's my laid out floor, and I'm gonna put vertical studs on these guys. All right, Nate, welcome back. Hi. We are switching up the framing situation. Over there, I used two by fours ripped in half. I, let me show you something, come over here. I used this, I think this is called a header. I used this header because there's no furring strip up here. So I was hoping that I could push this up here tight, screw this in enough to hold, and this would make me a wall. I'm like pretty happy with it. I think it's gonna be okay. Um, but I changed a few things over here. So I'm using whole two by fours on their side just cause that'll be stiffer. I'm not using a header because I have a furring strip that's running all along here. So I consider that to be my header and that's just making it easier to install these. And then over there I did what's called toenailing. Pocket screws are just 
like they're more work and they're more expensive but they're just less messy and they're the same exact thing. So I've used four pocket screws per bottom and top and I'm pretty happy with this. This is this seems sturdy. Now the hardest part has been getting it to be level and square because the level doesn't work because the bus isn't level. I don't have anything that I can measure off of that's square really except possibly this. So that, that helps me out a little bit. Yeah. Um, and the only square I have is this 12 inch square. And we have Cheez-Its too. Yeah, so we've been using Cheez-Its to check if it's square. Yeah. Cheez-Its are square, the box is square, they're perfect. Not sponsored. <laughs> Not sponsored. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is my 12 inch square. You probably want like a 24 or a 36 inch square if you do this yourself, but uh, I already did it, so whatever. But we're gonna show you the process for this one, for this one. We're gonna show you at least this one. All right. Okay. Hey, thank you so much for the lunch. It's delicious. I worked really hard on it, mm. opening those boxes Store and pouring them in. Mac and cheese. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. You're not gonna answer. Feed her a bite. Feed her a bite, Nate. Yeah. The question is, if you really listen, you'll hear her questions. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so I got my wall built. Um, there's probably just gonna be a little bit more here to support my shower valve. This might get removed or cut to allow my uh, shower head to get mounted up here somewhere. So there might be something else that I do here. But anyways, I took a lot of creative liberties in all of this framing. I've never framed before and I just decided to do what made sense and shake things a lot. I just do a lot of shaking <laughs> and if it feels good, it feels good. And if it doesn't, I try something else. Um, everything's gonna get stiffened up because it's gonna get sheathing front and back and that's really gonna make a huge difference. I like the two by fours the best. If I were to do this all over again, I think I would make my one by twos on the ground or maybe just tie straight into the ground, honestly. And then I would use two by fours on side because I don't really care about the weight and they're just way stronger than these uh, one by twos that I made. But these are even pretty strong too. So all in all, it's framed. I think it's square. I think I laid it out right. And now I'm going to cover these walls. I did like a sneaky little trick. By the way, here's my bathroom nook. What I did was, there's a big gap up here. One thing that I learned while working with my old neighbor Emilio from Philadelphia was that you take one of these wonder bars, put it underneath your piece and pick it up. And that will allow you to get flush with the ceiling. That made a gap over here. So what I did was I scribed, I sanded this down so that it took some of the pressure off and then um, use this to kick it up as high as I possibly could. And this is the only little gap that I have left, so I'm pretty happy with that. And then I used a clamp to push this board back into that corner so that I could then screw it. So now I can take this clamp off. Hopefully this isn't gonna go anywhere. And that is pretty cool. I like nice tight seams a lot. <laughs> right here is gonna get capped by a nice piece of something and uh, that's a wall. We're gonna do this one. Can we knock it out? Yeah. Okay, so this is apparently the wall to go right here where the shower's gonna go. Dude, what happened? Oh, it's too short. short. What did I do? No, yeah, you did that on purpose. Think, oh wait, you cut it too short. No, I messed up. What do you mean? I did 30 and a half instead of 32 and a half. Uh, we accept that with, with our mistakes and cut another piece. I mean, forty dollar piece of plywood. I'll take it. We could probably use it for this right here because I think it's short enough. My man, Nate's always thinking with his brain. No. <laughs> no. Why? 